guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. And today it's on MC Jukebox. So this is a fantastic plugin which allows you to play music and sounds on your server via command or via a region. So when you go into an area, it may play a certain sound depending on what that area is. So this all works via a web client, which is free to use, which is great. So I'm going to show you how to set up this plugin and how to use it. So if I go into this area here, this little box, we will hear a sound being played. So, as you can see, when I landed in the box, um, it played the John Stamos sound. So, uh, if we do for slash jukebox, help, that will show us all the commands. Here they are, we can play music, sound, uh, we can obviously add a region, delete a region, show all the regions, and obviously stop playing music. So, I'm going to give a quick example by doing jukebox, music, username, obviously my username, the URL, so things like YouTube and Vimeo and all that stuff doesn't actually work. You have to use Clipit, um, which uh, is pretty good. You can just upload an MP3 and then you can play the URL. So I'm going to quickly grab it. Here it is. So this is the MP3 I'm going to play. And fade duration, you could add that if you want, but you don't have to. So we are going to hit enter and we should hear music starting to play. So here we go, you can hear it. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike over this. Uh, it is a remix of another song, so please don't give me a strike, thank you. And um, yeah, if we stop it by doing jukebox stop and then my username, give it a few seconds and it will fade out nicely. It do doesn't just cut off, which is great. And I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, region quickly and then we'll show you how to set all of this good stuff up. So grab your wand, select an area, let's just go with this arena I made ages ago, use world guard to define it as a region, so box, and then we can use the command forward slash juke box, region, oh, make, sure, make sure you add the space there, region add, the ID which is box, and obviously whatever song you want to play when you go in this uh, area, so just uh, paste it like that. And then when you go in there, you'll hear John Stamos, and when you go in there, you'll hear the song that uh, I made. So um, if we do jukebox region list, it will show all of them. There we go. So you can obviously delete them by doing jukebox region remove, and then the name, so box, that will be deleted, and John Cena or Stamos, that will be deleted as well. So that is really cool that you can do all of that in game. We are going to hop out of the game now and show you how to set up all of this good stuff. So here we are at mcjukebox.net. Make sure you create an account first and then once you've logged in, you can create a new server. So just click add new server. This is my third one. Click manage. Once you've done this, you can change your server name. So let's do that, LC Jim Craft. IP address, obviously put your IP address here, but I'm gonna put a fake one in and set the default fade time. So users can specify this if they want, but they could obviously leave it blank and it will be five uh, or whatever you set it to. Then take a note of the API key, here it is, and also take note of the number after the pound sign. So um, 2171. So if we go into our jukebox API folder, here it is, open up the config file, and there should be two things in here, the API key, which we need to paste in, and the server ID. So the server ID is obviously 2171. So just pop that in there, save, and that will connect uh, the online website to your server. And uh, once you've done that, you can obviously start your server. Make sure you click Save Changes. There we go. And once you have done that, it should be connected. So we are going to go back. This is the one this tutorial is the one I made earlier that I was using in game to show you the music actually does play. And obviously here, um, when players type for slash jukebox, they can click the little text. This will pop up and they can control the sound and it will show your ping as well. So this is very cool that you can change the volume just by hopping onto the web client. So let's close that. This is obviously the spigot page and you can download it for free off of here. It's by Oliver Creeper. So it's a really awesome plugin, and I'm going to quickly show you how you can use Clipit to um, get whatever music you want. So um, I'm just going to type in, oh, what should I, Creeper Sound, 
or something, I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's a small song, so 8 seconds, that's fine. So if we copy the URL, download it using uh, YouTube to MP3 website, I always use this one. Um, we're just going to save it. Okay, there we go, it's downloaded. Even with my internet speed, it downloaded pretty quickly. Just go to clip.it, upload a clip, obviously choose which one you want. Uh, it's in downloads and Minecraft Creeper. Obviously you wait for it to upload and it's taken quite a while, even though it's only eight seconds long. And this video will probably take uh, an hour or two to upload. You can name it something Creeper, boom. Click save. Once you're here, get the URL, add .mp3 to the end, copy this, and there we go. You can now use this in-game, this URL, to play the creeper sound, which uh, might be playing in your headphones now. Yes, it's playing. That was, that was awfully loud. So that is how you set it up. It's really straightforward once you know how. Obviously you can then manage it and uh, use different music and whatnot. So uh, make sure you check out the plugin, it's really awesome, especially as it's free. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.